it, baby! Yeah! That is beautiful. Oh, man. That ain't worth falling in the mud, dude. dude. Yeah, way back you know. to like the settlers' time, they like, yeah, they, they stalked him here for food. Unbelievable mirror ghost. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We just woke up. Um, it is day two now. And uh, we're about to head on back to Central Park. We could not sleep in Central Park, but we uh, we camped out outside last night was hell. Uh, we got to the campsite. It was supposed to stop raining around one, but literally it's just kind of stopping now. It's like almost five. It was raining cats and dogs. The tent is leaking right now. Last night was very trying on my patience and my nerves. I think Scotty's too. The rain bore into our psyche. Um, but today's supposed to be beautiful. So we forced ourselves up. And it's been time to go. Scotty's getting dressed. And then we're going to make our way back down to Central Park. Hopefully we get ourselves some cool carp today. Let's go. So because we had the Solifornia film crew with us today, I didn't really film things the way I would normally film things. I kind of just like have things in a jumbled mess here, but I really wanted you to kind of see things from my perspective and, and kind of give you almost a teaser as to what is going to be in the Solifornia video. I also included, um, you know, before they arrived and after. Somebody's coming with one. Johnny's got you. Got Johnny coming in hot. Connor's hooked up. Look at that. Fish. Carp. Oh, carp. Johnny getting the fish safely over to the mat. Connor with the first fish. Sweet. Well done, guys. Wanna pick up that pole? Yep. Thank you. Alright, let's get them all over to the mat, nice and safe. Okay. Cool. Yeah, there's koi and stuff in here too. Really? Yep. There's some crazy fish. Diesel, calm yourself. This is a nice, nice one, job, Yeah, he's like the more healthy one I've seen. Yeah, it's a little chunk. Yeah. He's got a little chunky chunk. It's that point, Todd. Going back. Yep. Boom! Woo! I'm still, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna grab the nap. Oh boy. He's coming right at us. It's so sick, dude. Yeah. It's a good looking fish. Yeah. I really think it's it you, deserves bro. a spoilie though, too. For when it leaves. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> a beautiful so fish. Sick, eh, buddy? Yeah. Sick. One last look at her. Yeah, why you got your drop back behind her? There she goes. Hi, Mama. Ah, get it. Come on, be something crazy. It looks good. You want to change? Are you supposed to change up? How am I stuck in my lap? 
Well, I do the second I pulled up, I go, that's the car for your spot here. Yeah. Yeah. So right up there. Sean, you want to give him a hand? You got it? Connor. Connor, that's coming this way, bud. You're good. I'm going to be able to get him. Where? He's right here. Oh, that's a sick fish. Here you go. Here you go. You're off now. There. That thing's sick. Koi? Yeah, Koi. Really? No. No. My line's resting on your back, on it. <laughs> yeah. Good, I'm on it. What's going on over there, Scott? Oh. That's a good fish, Red. It's a great fish. Boom! Sorry about that, Fred. That was a little sketchy. Oh, oh fuck. That's good. Didn't go. Alright, good. Most of the morning, the GoPro was mounted to the rod pod. So, basically, you know, I was either on the camera, Fred was on the camera, somebody was grabbing the big camera, and um, pretty much every single fish that I hooked into, um, my camera was not on for it. I do believe Gabriel from uh, Solifornia got a couple of the catches, but this next catch right here, um, I got on Scotty's rod uh, right after he left. It was the first fish caught on one of Scott's rods during the trip, um, and I felt really bad, but um, definitely a beautiful comment. Oh, Scotty, you poor bastard. when he leaves. It's known for that. It's <laughs> definitely known for that. No, no, Todd's net handle. Diesel. 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 He's friendly. You good? Yeah. You happy with your fish, Toge? I'm stuck. Whoa, 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 whoa. Soon after that, when Fred was gone, I landed a fish on one of his rods, and um, while we were messing around with it, Connor's alarm started to go off. I ran down there to see one of the coolest fish caught during the entire trip. I'm the I'm them. taking them to eat. Okay? It's my food. How much? 20 bucks. Is it a mirror? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. That is beautiful. Oh, oh man. That is so worth falling in the mud, dude. dude. So worth falling in the mud. That's a big one, oh too. My God. Son. Yo, can you, you, oh, that's a big fish, too. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Huge mirror. Fred, huge I got a huge mirror. mirror. That's a mirror. That is cool. That's like the Look gotta that be. Wow. That's gotta be one of the biggest in the lake, dude. Dude, I got a ghost in there too. I'm pretty sure. No, I looked at it. Oh, it isn't. Okay, Holy good. Crap. But still, a nice fish. Yeah, right. Did not really consider the bait, but they've been around so long. And they were uh, specifically put in here. <laughs> so uh, yesterday we're doing something like totally fine uh, with our tent up all day. No problems. Cops come talk to us no problems the people at the park say no problems um we even like know the people now at the park saying that we have we have zero problem and now they're freaking these two decide that uh the the tent has to come down so that's great um literally doing nothing the tent was we we only had uh the thing up so it could dry out and store our stuff today but apparently it's just like too much for these guys who have are not affiliated with the park, just cops, saying that we have to take it down. It's got no floor, which means it's not a, an Our actual tent. tent. Uh, so it is totally legal. They're just making up laws, which is really cool. 
Good thing it's nice out today. But hence the reason why we brought it. That thing was freaking like 50 pounds after last night's uh, insane rainathon. So I just wanted to get it out today and basically protect our stuff, have a place to lie out of the sun. And uh, early this morning it was pretty cold. So, anyways, let's get back to fishing. Um, this is a weird and wild episode. I'm not really filming things correctly, but uh, old Connor boy here just got this beautiful mirror. Absolutely gorgeous. Nailed it. Monster kid. So let me just get this out of my chest real quick. Uh, day one, it's rainy, it's crappy out. Not many people are out in Central Park. Day two, it's beautiful out. And, you know, the park is packed with a bunch of ritzy people. Um, the cops didn't give a damn day one what we were doing with the tent or anything like that. And day two, uh, they give us hell for um, our, the exact same setup we had. It's uh, it's kind of ridiculous. We even got the cops called on us day one from some crazy lady whose dog ate a bunch of the boilies that we had out. Um, and she flipped out at us because her dog was off the leash and ate the car food. It was ridiculous. Anyways, when the cops showed up day one, there was literally no problem. Um, I should have actually filmed it. I didn't. It was, uh, it was hilarious. And the lady was ridiculous. I might even have the footage of her, but I'm not going to go scrubbing through that stuff. I literally just went through and, and tried to find the fish catches. But Central Park is a nutty place. I got into it with a bass fisherman. It, 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 lots of things happen. There's, a, there's just a lot of people. A lot of things going on. These cops just really had this, you know, attitude like they just, you know, had to, they had to do something because we looked like we were camping, but really it just looked like we were fishing. Regardless, about an hour later, everyone else had their bivvies set up all along a different part of the pond. So it was like, and, and nobody said anything about it. The ice fishing tent is just like the bivvies. There's no floor and it's to, it should be completely legal in the park. Uh, the park guy even said so. So the fact that we even had to take it down was ridiculous. They, the cops were putting up such a stink Fred was talking to them for like 30 minutes, trying to like be like, I don't understand why, like you're, you're making no sense. Um, but eventually Fred just came up to me and was like, can you take it down? And that's, you know, literally right before I recorded this last little excerpt. Moving on into the video. Um, just after this, now Gabriel, the cameraman for Soul Fornia, he was with us uh, for quite some time, but Soul, the owner of Soul Fornia had not shown up yet and um minutes after he showed up he was you know really really wanted to catch us uh, a fish in central park and i was having a conversation with him telling him to relax that we were on fish and that he was going to get one no problem just chill out it's gonna happen and literally while we were having this conversation the rod screamed out Todd, this battery's gonna die right now. Real, real, real. It's all real. That's a good one. Holy, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yes! It's the second biggest fish. Oh my lord. God bless America. Thank you for that. Oh, I'm trying not to rub the carp slime through my already nasty bit. Yeah. So you gotta pick it up before this camera dies. That was crazy. Isn't that fun? It's so fun, man. Yeah. That's a chunk? Oh, that's a killer, bro. That, that was, was right second, after. Yeah, that's the second you. biggest fish of the day. You did. That's the second biggest fish of the day, I think. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Is this your first ever carp? Uh, you picks them? Yeah, I got a lot. Get it, baby. Yep, that's it. 
green. And now, <laughs> wow, but a fish. Oh, that's it. Yeah, Beautiful. baby. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes, dude. So guys, this is this is literally what it's all about. This is like what the Soul of Hornia movement is all about. Like going out in cities, going fishing, having fun, and just like showing people that you know you can do this. The amount of people that like came by and were like, you can fish Central Park. And we're like, yeah, of course you can fish Central Park. Like. There's Lunkerville episodes of, you know, them fishing center. It's, there's signs everywhere saying you can't fish. It, like, of course you can fish Central Park. And, like, you know, this whole video that, you know, is going to come out from Solifornia, this whole thing that we did down there, um, you know, it it's the embodiment of Solifornia. You know what I mean? It's just, you know, we combined fishing and art, and we had a freaking blast. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna end this episode here with the uh, the cops literally still here just like stalking us Who knows what the hell they're doing? Um, but if you guys want to see the rest of what's going on today Check out Solifornia. I'm putting my cameras away and enjoying the rest of the day five hours later Unbelievable mirror ghost Cody's uh caught this fish twice, yeah? You caught yeah. this last year, same time same of year, time right? Same time of year last year. So sick, bud. Healthier. Yeah, a little looking chunkier? Yeah, looking good this year. So dope, dude. Look at that pattern. Ooh. <laughs> See ya! Yeah, baby. <laughs> That's dope. Where's your net? Oh, he's got one. Good timing. You got the net, homie? <laughs> hold on, hold on, time out. Oh, that's a ghost. Is it a ghost? I think so. Or is really light. It's very light. Wait, no, he's not. It's very light. It's very light. Those little pretty comments. That's a pretty ghost. Yeah, I thought it was a ghost. I almost thought it was the fantail. Ghosty. Because that one was super, super silver and about that size. <laughs> it's just got to be covered. <laughs> Sick, Brad. Well, guys, uh, Soul and everybody took off, so uh, it's just me and Scotty over here. Everybody else is over yonder. We would be hanging out with them, but our well, my alarms don't uh, go far, so I got to sit with them. Um, so we're over here chilling like losers by ourselves hoping to get one last fish hopefully each uh, before the end of the trip uh, we gave our last uh, handful of fish each over to uh, all the fine folks over at Solifornia super freaking pumped that you guys came up and guys I don't think I've even talked or showed you about uh, what we did yesterday so back at the office we will discuss that uh, after this video, but we'll see uh, see if we can, can get another fish or two. Three hours later. So we were grinding it out at that spot for quite some time to no avail. I believe we had run, one run. It was getting dark. Uh, it was starting to get dark and it was starting to cool off and all the crazy boat traffic was about to slow down. So I knew I had a feeling that we should go back to where we started during the day. Before the boat traffic really hit hard, uh, we were doing really well there. And once the boat traffic started, it was just, you know, all the fish were gone. So I convinced Scott that we got to go back to the original spot. We get back there, and within minutes, I'm hooked up to this fish. So the GoPro was dead, my big camera was totally dead. 
my phone was dead. So really we couldn't get any of the footage of the fight, but the fight, the fight with this fish was insane. This fish, as soon as it got hooked, went straight into a snag and I got snagged up the day prior in the exact same snag and eventually just got fed up and broke off. And um, I had a conversation with Fred later and he told me, you know, with carp, uh, if they can get into a snag, they can get out. And most of the time they're still hooked. So you gotta wait it out. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah. So I sat there and I waited it out and uh, nothing was happening. So I pulled back on the rod a couple times and then gave it another couple pulls and then I felt a tug back. And I was like, oh my goodness, in my head, like, is this real? So I did it again and I felt the tug back again and I did it again and I felt the tug back again. And I was like, guys, guys, the fish is still on. And then all of a sudden I pulled back and it just like phew, took off uh, screaming and um, I managed to get it to the bank and it was my coolest fish of the entire trip this beautiful ghosty uh, we were surrounded by a big group of people little kids coming up checking her out it was freaking awesome uh, and not I mean we don't get for them for food but carp were originally for food. Yeah, they were stocked here for back food. because they yep. get so big. Yeah, way back you know? to like the settlers' time, they like yeah they, they stocked them here for food. The Europeans did. The European settlers did. They brought them over and it's stocked them. It's very cute fish. It's nice. Yeah, that's a good one. It's a beaut, dude. All their mouths are. are this freaking tail is yeah, awesome. Just gotta are you get a nice close up. Him? No, no, he's going right back. Okay. They're doing science. They're doing environment. I can't take any pictures. <laughs> I just took a bunch for you. Yeah. Is, is this what we got it on? No, that's banana and um. Pink. Is what I got it on? Yeah. Banana pink? I said that! I swear to God it was a banana, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was. Or it's a yellow and a pink. You're welcome. I want to know what the hell it is. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I sent a video of it to uh, Fred. I feel like we should just run it down. But wait for me, wait for me. Yeah. Oh. Well, I guess not. Just you get a nice release. Okay. Give it a little kiss for me. Ah, baby. Oh, she's off. She's out, dude. I like trout. Yo, go get your trout. shit, dude. Tied up. Holy shit. <laughs> Fred. Look at that thing. Hey, you want to bring it over under the light over here? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Oh, no, let me change the light. Oh, yeah. Sick. Fredo. This might be one of the last fish we get here. Perfect. I got a couple. So. <laughs> nice job, Fred. That's a chunky fish. Well, folks, there you have it. The last fish right before the end of the night at Central Park. We actually ended up going back to the car and grilling at the truck it's uh too bad that everything of mine was dead or i would have taken some video of it because it was pretty awesome we were just grilling burgers i uh, ran right the back of scotty's truck uh, literally right in front of central park so i just want to say thank you to everybody from california thank you to everybody that came out and carpet this was a freaking fantastic couple days um unforgettable moments uh and um unforgettable fish this was this was a special trip huge thanks to fred trap out baits guys if you have not checked it out yet please check out the facebook page trap out baits it'll be linked down below we also just started an instagram page which i am going to be managing so do me a huge favor and go on over to trap out baits and follow trap out baits on instagram i really appreciate that but real quick it's almost healed the tattoo um, something else that we did with Solifornia one of the big things we did with the fishing uh, was art and we put the original Solifornia right here this logo is now right here on my arm the artwork from this tattoo is done by the original Solifornia artist and it is inspired by an old oil painting of Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin is the ultimate badass, the ultimate outdoors badass. 
So here we have Ben Franklin with a fisherman beard, a hunter's hat, and a pipe. And it's not done. We're definitely going to add some more really cool fishy artwork surrounding the Benjamin Franklin solar farm tattoo. And speaking of this tattoo, a huge, huge shout out to Marilyn, my buddy's daughter who did this tattoo. She did a freaking fantastic job. Um, and her Instagram, we will also link down in the description below if you guys want to check her out, check her artwork out. She does a lot of really cool anime tattoos. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned. I got some really cool saltwater videos coming up. I caught my first double digit to tog since the very first to tog of my life. And I also caught my very first koi fish. Spoiler alert. Those two videos are coming up soon. We got a bunch of stuff. I got a ton of stuff lined up for you. I've been super busy. I've been really trying to uh, fish a lot lately. Um, and a lot of this fishing is taking up a lot of time. And if I had a laptop, I'd be getting a lot more editing done while I'm fishing because I've been doing a lot of carp slash koi fishing. Anyways, I'm out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. We'll catch you on the next one. Fish out. Get dope. I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple. Now's the side of shoes, so I don't stomp by tiptoe. Fell a thousand times, and still I roll no limp though. But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I had.